Should you give free samples as a newbie freelancer? Let's talk about it. Is that a smudge on my fucking camera? Have I been recording with a smudge this whole time? Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma Cownley, I'm a freelance copywriter and blogger and today we're going to be going into what is potentially one of the greatest freelance debates of all time. Whether or not you, as a new freelancer, should be giving free writing samples to potential clients. It's a fucking hot topic. I've seen arguments for both sides. I am pretty decided on what I think, but I thought today I would come here, present both sides to you, give you the pros and cons, and allow you to make an informed decision about what feels right for you in your business and where you are in your career as a freelancer to date. Now, before I weigh in on the topic, I'd like to remind you to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Consider subscribing, especially if you've been back here a few times and you want to see more of my face and this lovely autumnal dark academia vibe that I'm bringing to you. And if you're feeling extra spicy today and you think, you know what, Emma's, Emma's earned it, she deserves it, you can head on over to coffee and buy me a coffee. And without further ado, let's get into the great debate. Let's start with the pros. Reasons you might like to consider giving away free writing samples. Now let's start with the biggest and most easiest to identify pro in this whole debate, and that is as a new freelancer, if you don't have any work already in your portfolio, you can go to a brand new client as a brand new writer and give them a risk-free proposition as to uh, why they should try you. You can come in and be like, hey, I can see that you need this, I'll do it for free. If you'll let me put the work in my portfolio, you'll consider me for more work down the line and maybe you'll give me a testimonial or two if I do the work. There's absolutely no risk in it for the client. They may as well try you because it's free and you end up building a portfolio with legit work that you have done for a client. Mm. Testimonials, put that on your homepage. Solid gold, baby. Conversion gold dust. Sounds like a really great idea on paper, to be honest. Although I will say, if this is the reason that you're going to be giving free writing samples, you absolutely have to have your eyes on the prize and you need a strong conversion funnel in place. You need a really good idea of how you're going to convert that customer. So it's no good going to them and saying, would you like a free writing sample um, so I can use it in my portfolio? And they say yes. And then you're not going to have a really good idea of afterwards that you're going to get that testimonial and you're going to actually go and put it on your site and not faff around and fanny about that you're actually going to say okay now i've given this to you are you interested in having a conversation about how we can take this further i've got these ideas let's book in a call you know you've got to know that you're going to be really aggressive and clever and strategic about how you're turning that relationship if you're doing all that work for free just for a portfolio piece, you are absolutely not getting your time's worth from that task that you did for free. You want to get everything everything you can out of that. So testimonial, conversion, conversations, ideas for later, really kind of going at it, asking them to recommend you to other people, having those conversations. So if you are gonna if you are gonna give away free writing, know how you're gonna turn that into work later on have a really good idea. Otherwise, you are wasting your time and you're wasting the opportunity that you've managed to win for yourself. Second pro, why working for free might be good, kind of touched on it just now, but it means that you can fill your writer's portfolio with legit work that you have done for a legit client. Feels really good when the work is real, although I will say it can take a while to build a substantial portfolio using free work. You're probably gonna have to do up between four and six pieces to create a rock solid portfolio and that's a lot of free work and a lot of time that you're spending not earning any money but it is legit work and the final pro for working for free is that you get to have experience 
in that client working relationship, working on actual copy for an actual client, you get to try all that experience and it's kind of risk free for you in that in the minuscule chance that you fuck up, well then it's no problem. You don't have to refund anyone, your reputation's not particularly damaged because the work was for free anyway. So there's not contracts on the line and massive deposits to pay back and you know if it is free work it's likely to be something like a free blog post or you know a free newsletter or something so it's not the end of the world and that kind of takes the pressure off especially if you're new you can feel like oh okay you know it's not a huge deal if I mess this up Um, but it kind of is because you're working for free with the hope of impressing someone so the pressure is still on to some degree you get what I'm trying to say you you get me And with that, let's move on to the cons. Reasons that giving away free writing samples is a horrible idea. And I don't think that I need to tell you that this is the side I fall on. I've never given away free work. I would never give away free work. But then again, I started freelancing with a portfolio that I could use. So take that with a grain of salt. So the first con is that if you are a new freelancer with a brand new business and you need to start out, you will need to start earning money yesterday. You will need to fill your coffers as quickly as possible with enough as much work as possible because this is your business, this is your livelihood. So spending a lot of time on free writing samples really can eat into your revenue. At the end of the day, you can fill your portfolio with mock-ups that you have done in your own time for yourself. And you can even kind of do them for big name brands. If you've got a really clear idea of what your writing niche is, fill your portfolio with brands that fit perfectly into that niche. Make it very clear on the page that this is a mock-up. It is a fictional piece of writing that you have created in the style of Jimmy Choo or Butlins. I don't know. (laughs) Don't know where that example came from, but I'm going with it and show people that you have got the ability to switch between voices, that you can structure the copy with strategy, that you can have a really catchy hook, that you can have a really tempting call to action. Now here's a point that I like to say to the newbies that book me for The Witching Hour, which is a one hour consultation that I offer on my website. You can find it linked in the description box below if you're interested. But I do tend to get quite a lot of new freelancers coming to me for advice and we kind of make an action plan for them. And they kind of ask me, well, you know, could I just go out and offer a few free samples? Like, what if I did this and what if I did that? And then I could do free samples. And I tend to say to them, when you offer something to a client for free, you're showing them that you don't think your contribution is worth paying for at this stage. You're kind of insinuating that you don't have confidence in your ability and that's why you want to offer it for free. So what you're kind of doing, other than just cheapening your contribution, is you've put yourself on the back foot in that they've now got that in the back of their mind and when you deliver the draft to them, they are more likely to pick holes in what you've given because they know there's no confidence there. So you're more likely to do round upon round upon round of amendment because they want to tinker with it because they're not paying for your time. So they don't have to worry about how many times they give it back to you to change and edit and change and edit, which by the way, continues to eat into your time and therefore, you know, your revenue. But it kind of gives the underlying message that there is no confidence in the ability and they will pick up on that and it will sit in the back of their mind whether they know it or not and that will affect how they treat you with regard to assessing your copy. Next up, giving away free copy sets a precedent. It means that that client is more likely to want freebies from you in future or more likely to kick off when you actually charge them for something at your real rate. Why should they pay that? They've just had something for free. Can you not do this for free? Can you not do that for free? As with the point, the first point that I made in the pros section, if you are gonna give away a free sample, you absolutely must know your limit and you need to have the balls to back that up. 
If they start creeping through and just asking, oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, you have to have the guts to say, no, it was one free sample. I outlined the parameters. It was this many edits, this many changes included in the freebie package. Now you need to start paying. This is what the cost is. Here's my contract. Let's get this show on the road. You have to be able to do that because otherwise they will take you for a ride. And that's one of the main reasons I didn't want to give away free copy when I started because I knew I absolutely would not have the bollocks to tell them to fuck off when they tried to push me. I would have been a total chump and um, didn't want to give myself the opportunity to be a walkover. So no freebies for anyone. My final point, my final con, which is technically quite unfair because I only did three for the pros, but I just wanted to touch on this for the cons. Um, and that is that in my experience, clients who expect free writing samples are not typically the kind of clients you want to work for. They are penny pinching, they are pernickety, they are people that dominate your time and your resources. And they kind of, in asking for freebies, are demonstrating that they don't have confidence in freelancers and they need to be able to see what they're getting before they agree to pay for it. And also that they don't understand how to work with a freelancer. Across my career, I've only come up against maybe three or four clients who have ever tried to ask me for something for free in a, an entire, what, I'm coming up on six years freelancing. So... What I'm trying to say, long-winded as always, is that clients know how this shit works. That the legit real clients know how this shit works. They won't ask you to do anything for free. That's just my experience. I tend to go for good quality clients. And I think that it's very telling. The people who are asking for freebies tend to be the people who are advertising for jobs on LinkedIn or Upwork or Fiverr or all of those kinds of sites. Maybe even you'll find them on Indeed. The money is always ridiculous. The qualifications they want are fucking laughable. You'd need to be in the industry for like 15 years to even come close to touching the kinds of requirements they're looking for at a fee of £120 a day. Get the fuck out. Who the fuck are you? But there you go. I like to think I've provided a fully rounded argument for pros and cons. I don't think I have. I think I've weighted it more heavily in the cons section. But to be fair, the biggest pro of the pro section is the fact that you get to work for legit clients, risk-free. You're giving them a very, very sexy proposal, a risk-free proposition. And let's be honest, not all of us can afford to not work for free. Some of us feel that given our position in life or in society, we don't have the same opportunities as others and free samples are sometimes necessary unfortunately that is the truth of the matter i'd like to think that we live in an equal society but we really fucking don't you could argue that it is very privileged to turn down free writing samples but i'm going to argue that you're a business person your time is worth paying for and that's all i have to say about that if you have any questions about anything we have discussed today you can leave a comment in the comment section below and any resources that i've mentioned will be listed in the description box for you so you can go away and have a little look through that i'll try and include um, some articles on both sides of the um, argument just so that you can have a fully rounded view and yeah that's about it i'll see you back here same time same place in two weeks for more Kiss My A's. Take care and peace out.